this is an interesting one. The question came in from the ask. And like I said, please feel free. You can send questions to the knowyourgearpodcast.com website. This one's from a few weeks ago. Out of th- thousands of deep dives, hasn't been thousands, but I understand what they mean. Um, ha- what have you learned about all the guitars and the manufacturers? Here's what I've learned from taking apart guitars and going through the specs and not just reading the ad copy. Like I said, every, you know, I don't read the advertising stuff that's sent to me by companies. In fact, so much so that sometimes it becomes a a source of contention between me and the company. They're like, you said this and it's this. And I'm like, nope, my ruler says this and your stuff is, uh, I don't care what your stuff says. This is what I had in front of me. And here's what I learned. If you really pay attention to all those videos and you were to chart them, like somebody's going to, I always wonder if one day if somebody will be crazy enough to go through all my deep dive videos and put them on an Excel spreadsheets and kind of figure things out. <laughs> I don't, there's got to be somebody that neurotic out there. Um, here's what I, th- I know you would find. Uh, the major, um, if not all of the videos, um, the major majority of them, 90% of the videos where the specifications that I discover when going through the guitar are different from the manufacturer's specifications. That guitar was made in China. So that's why I said I wanted to be kind, but also, you know, uh, upfront about this. It is without a doubt, no question. It's not even a manufacturer. It's uh, when I say manufacturer, a brand. It's not a brand. It is country of origin. China made guitars literally are off spec nine out of 10 times. And I don't mean mistakes. I'm talking about actual, like they say this is mahogany and it's actually Palawina, right? Or they say this is, you know, uh, three inches and it's actually two and a half. Like it's literally things that are off the spec. But the more important answer to that question or to that question that's being asked is, not only are the, the, the guitars that are made in Chinese factories, the most that are off, it actually gets exponentially worse the more unknown the brand is. So what I mean by that is I've reviewed the Chinese made Paul Reed Smith guitars, and those were very close to what they say the, the specs, the manufacturer specs say the guitar is. Very close. But yet when I get to the brand that you've never heard of and I've never heard of, it's almost like three or four things on the guitar are just not even close to what they're saying the specifications are. The interesting, there's more to be said about this. <laughs> there's actually a, a, a last weird component of this observation I have. I've also noticed that 100%, and I'm uh, I'm gonna go with 90% again, but I feel it's 100%, but I'm gonna say 90% of the companies that I've not only saw the video where I was off, you know, or this, this information was off, so in that case, 100% of the companies that saw the videos actually communicated to me anything, okay? So they never said like, oh, I can't believe, you know, like they said, hey, I think you're wrong. They don't say that. They don't say, hey, that's shocking. We didn't know that. Or thank you for information. There's no ever any communication to me ever in the history of the channel from any company saying anything about what I said in the video. That is interesting. Now, the other part is where I'm gonna say 90%, but it's probably 100% too out of the companies I've reached out to and specifically talked to, like I said, I'm old, so a phone looks like this and not like this. (laughs) Uh, When I talk to them or email them, there is, again, no response and no care. There is no, like, we've talked to the manufacturer, thanks for the information. There is a caveat to that. The caveat is, if it is a Chinese factory and brand, and I talked to the company. In other words, the factory in China is actually the brand. Because like I said, we're not, I'm not talking about a brand that's having guitars made in China. There seems to never be a, there's, the brand never seems to care what I have to say or think about these things being off from each other. But when there is a, the brand and the factory are one and the same in China, I do tend to see uh, reaction and feedback. But to date, as nice as it's been that they've all reacted and said things and also gave pledges to improve. I've never seen any follow-up from them. In other words, they've never said, Hey, here's the new version, not messed up, or here's what we did. Like there's no follow-up. And even if I've responded with email saying, Hey, I'm following up from a year ago. I did a video where I said this was off and you guys told my viewers, like, we're going to fix that. Any updates on that? And it's like crickets. (laughs) So, um, so I, like I said, I, I think that is a great question and I hate giving that answer because, you know, it's uh, everything on the internet becomes some kind of politicized crap. 
Uh, it's not what I want to go with that. I'm just giving you factual data. That's the factual data. Um, it's almost non-existent um, in that number in any other country of origin. Um, now, on the second part of this, when it comes to Indonesia, Korea, Japan, uh, Germany, USA, then if I was going to say who's the next most off specification, it's USA. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like the the cheapest guitars are far off from what they say and the american guitars tend to be slightly off from what they say in some variants of off that um so that's the, what's interesting about that i would say the most dead on are definitely made in korea made in indonesia and made in japan are the three most where i say where i open a box and i go through a guitar and i and i and they say this is what it is my rulers my measuring guides my stuff says the same thing, the, the internal parts. Um, the other thing that's interesting is, um, here's another thing I'm noticing, and this is uh, not part of this question. This The question was, you know, what, what have I learned about all the guitars and manufacturers? Here's something that I um, am observe, observing happening more and more, which is interesting. The deep dive series videos that I do are becoming very hard to do because more companies are not disclosing details, which is interesting to me. In a world where everyone, you know, where we say on this channel all the time, you know, that you have to buy before you try, in a world where companies are mostly leaning into the, to the online sales, you think they would give more information on their websites, more pictures, more specifications, more details and measurements. And what I'm finding is, even though you see new brands all the time giving more of that information, it feels like, oh, they're, 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 jo they're joining the, the new way of, uh, well, the growing way of, of consuming guitars, I find it's when you have to do this, like I have to do this, I'm constantly just out of frustration looking online for just any piece of information. Like it doesn't tell me what potentiometers are here. It doesn't tell me, you know, what kind of pickups, what kind of magnets, there's just less and less information being given. And the reason I think that is, is because of reviewers uh, like this channel, like me, and it's not just me, there's a ton of reviewers out there, especially a lot of the smaller channels uh, that are getting really detailed with the reviews too. I think they just rather not be wrong or perceived as lying or perceived as being incorrect. So they're just like trying to fix that by going, we'll just be general with our, our wording. <laughs> and the wording is getting very, very general. It's all wood. <laughs> it has, you know, uh, it has a nut. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. What is the material? What is this stuff? If you enjoyed this podcast clip, you can watch the entire episode by clicking the link in the description or streaming it on iTunes, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. You can also join it live every week, Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I hope to see you there. Until next time, know your gear.